Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, it's Ijama here and in today's video we're going to learn how to make this cow neck top with a collar. This top has been trending and I love it so much, it is chic. Someone requested this on my Instagram page and one other person sent it to me on WhatsApp. They said that I should make a sewing tutorial on this cow neck with a collar and I'm going to be making a detailed video on how to make this. This is just our normal cow neck. So the first thing that we are going to do is to draft a pattern for the back part. For the back part is just the normal 3 by 1.5 for the neckline the bust the half length and the full length now i have my chest line that is my armhole line i have my half length and i have the full length of this top the full length is 25 but i added two inches for the um hemming so this is the, my chest line and i took my bust point bust measurements at the chest line this is my half length i took my waist measurements at the half length and this is the full length now i am going to cut this out and this is the back body this is the back remember the neck depth is 1.5 the width of the neck is three inches now i am going to cut out this pattern paper and using this pattern paper i will cut out the back and after cutting the back i will use it and cut out the front as well so i want to manage my pattern paper you don't really need to draft the front and the back separately you can just draft the back and using it you can draft the front and for the back we are not adding any zipper allowance to this it is a free top and the neck is a cow neckline so it can enter your head freely now i am done folding this fabric and this fabric is for the back pattern i'll go i'll go ahead and place the back pattern on it and after placing it i will cut it out so now after cutting this out all i have to do is to slash this paper then i can use it for the front hope you understand now i am done cutting out the back piece i'll just go ahead and keep it aside after cutting that i'll fold out another fabric and after folding it make sure that it is long enough i am using just 1.5 yard for this tutorial that i am making but if you have enough fabric you should use up to two yards so that your cow neck will fall very well now i will slash this from the chest line towards the armhole area you can see how i slashed the paper and i'm going to shift it so the more you are spreading this paper the more your cow neck will be falling but i don't really have enough fabric break so indicate your neckline indicate the width of your neckline and indicate the center of the paper this center of the paper is where the collar will stop at so indicate the shoulder area and indicate the neckline you can see how i slashed that print how i cut out the place just very small and i notched the center of this paper this cent this place that i am notching right now is where the collar will stop at you know the collar did not come towards the center front that much it stopped somewhere close to the shoulder now i'll go ahead and cut out the rest of the top after cutting this out this is my front and i will notch that area where i will fix my collar and also remember to indicate your shoulder area you know this is a cow neck you know the way we cut our normal cow neck and now this is all we have the next thing that i'm going to do is that we will cut out our facing and our sleeve but before i cut out my facing i want to cut out my sleeve because i am managing this particular fabric now i want to add just an a-line sleeve to this i want an a-line sleeve i don't want a complicated sleeve i'll go ahead and mark my curve my armhole curve then i will slash it i will just slant it you can see how i marked that area that is my a-line shape and the full length of this sleeve is 28 inches i want it to be very long the normal length is 27 plus one inch for the hemline that is 28 i don't want i want the sleeve to be really long now i am done cutting out my sleeve i cut out the two pieces of the sleeve the right and the left sleeve at once now i will use this to cut out the facing for my front neckline you know this is a cow neck so you need to use a fabric as your facing so that when the neck falls people will be seeing the right side of the fabric 
the wrong side of the fabric should not be showing and when you are cutting this facing make sure that it extends below the armhole area you can see my armhole and i stopped at let's say four inches below the armhole so this facing should be very low it should be really long so that it can cross your armhole and it will reach your boss point at least now this is what i have please remember to cut out the facing for your back as well you will need a facing for the back this is for the front and this is the cow now you can see my cow did not fall too much because i did not spread my paper too much but if you want your paper if you want your cow to fall very well you spread your paper very well so that it will fall now i will join the front and the back you can see that i did not turn the back neckline with a bias and i have not turned the front neckline so just join the shoulder after joining the shoulder we are going to fix our collar before turning them with the facing for neat finishing now i'll just pin them at the shoulder and i'll go ahead and join at the shoulder remember to notch your shoulder area at the front piece so that you will not be confused now i am done joining the front and the back at the shoulder the next thing that we do is to measure the neckline area like the place where we are going to be fixing this uh collar i told you guys to notch where your collar will start from i don't if you can see the notch so i will start from that notch that i made for my collar and i will start measuring towards the other notch this is the other notch where the neckline will stop at the center of our paper when we are cutting out so now i have 17 inches you should have between 17 and 19 inches now on my paper i am going to divide the 17 into two and if you divide it into two you have 8.5 now the length of the collar will be 3.5 it is normally it is three inches plus half an inch for seam allowance and remember this collar that i'm cutting is a one piece collar then you will slant your collar a bit it is very easy i want just a normal collar it's not have a collar stand just a one piece collar after measuring the the round neck you will slant the collar a bit just to give it that v shape at the front and remember you will cut out this fabric on fold now I want the top of this sleeve to have, um, I don't want it to have any seam. So I folded my collar first of all before cutting. I'll go ahead and close the side of the collar. I am done closing the side of the collar and I'll go ahead and notch the center of this collar. You can see this is a very simple collar. Just measure your round neck where you fix your collar and then cut it out on the main, on your fabric. Then after that, pin it round that place you measured from your center back you will pin towards the right notch this is where the collar ended and from that center back as well you will pin towards the other notch at the front of this fabric it is really simple at least the collar does not need too many joining and manipulation now i am done fixing my collar and you can see what we have this our top is taking shape already it is already fine the next thing that we are going to do now is to join our facing this is the facing for the back it is small i will join it to the facing for the front i will close them at the shoulder the same way we close the main top the front and the back of the main top together now this is what we have the front and the back facing i'll go ahead and close the shoulder area after closing the shoulder area of this top you will notch the center back the center back of the facing just go ahead and notch it so that when you are pinning it on the fabric you will start from the center of the back then you pin towards the front neckline now i'll go ahead and match i'll go ahead and match all the areas i will pin the the back facing to to the back neckline the the reason why i'm doing this thing is to cover the rough stitch where we fixed our collar we need to cover that area so that when your collar falls people will not be seeing your seam allowance from the right side of your fabric now i am going to pin the front facing to the front neckline all that cowl area the cowl area area should be closed then the center back should match the center back then you start spinning around. Make sure that the shoulder of the facing is also matching the shoulder of the main fabric. Then after joining, you go ahead and notch. After notching, take your time and iron very well. This is really important. Take your time and iron all your seam allowance very well. Then after doing that, I'll come back and show you guys what I have after ironing. Now I am trying to turn the 
the collar and you can see that nobody can see the seam allowance where i joined the collar to the main fabric it is very neat now let me arrange it before i iron so that we can understand now this is the collar i am folding the collar and this is the cow neckline i'm going to merge the facing to the main fabric you know the facing of the front reached the armhole area right so make sure that the facing is equal with your fabric at the armhole area you can go ahead and pin this is really important this pin was very hard to penetrate i had to find another pin so make sure that the facing is equal with the right with the front of this fabric so that when you are joining you will not make any mistake you will join the facing to the front piece separately before doing your main shaping now this is the back facing you can see where it stopped at our top is taking shape i'll go ahead and join and hem the down parts now i am done joining the side i have, I have hemmed the uh, hemline now we are going to retrim our armhole after retrieving our armhole we will shape our sleeve and then fix our sleeve is very simple it is just an a-line sleeves now i'm just trying to retrim my armhole a bit just a bit then after trimming that i will fix my sleeve so if you are fixing a shirt sleeve that will be fine but i decided to add a flare sleeve i love this sleeve so much so i'll just go ahead and shape my sleeve with half an inch and i will join it to the sleeve to the armhole area and that will be all so guys after joining all this you will iron very well at the end of the day this is what we have i hope our top is very beautiful please do not forget to follow us on instagram at so with ijoma you can register for our shirt class our shirt class will start on the 30th of this month so you can register do not forget to subscribe and like see you all in my next video i love you all bye